So you know that you want to get people on your list so that you can contact them later and sell to them later, but you have to design something for them to download. You don't want to just send them a doc file, right? <laughs> so I'm going to help you out that today and I'm going to give this little tiny toe dip into the waters of the Adobe suite of products. My favorite being Adobe Illustrator. I also have a video on this exact same topic doing it with Canva, but this is the way that I would do it. If you want to know the way that the real pro would do it, this is the way I would do it in Illustrator. It has the most flexibility. The prices are very comparable from Canva to Illustrator, so don't let that fool you. But the cool thing is that you can watch both these videos and kind of see the difference and see which is for you. Funnel Gorgeous as a brand, as a company, we design templates for funnels, but we also have the collections and then you need all the matching pieces for these collections so that you can have a fully cohesive brand. So we also sell logo templates and we sell lead magnet templates and we sell ad templates. But today I'm going to dive into the lead magnet magnet templates in Illustrator for you guys, show you the rundown of how exactly it works, how to choose the sections, how to get your information, plug and play into it, change the colors, save it out as a PDF and start sending it to your people. Alrighty, so I went ahead and I popped over to, I already have Illustrator, but if you guys obviously don't have it, you're gonna need to sign up for it. There is a free trial, it looks like it's a seven day trial, but you can get the whole entire Adobe suite of different software. That's what I have. I have the like unlimited, all of them is always really good when you sign up during Black Friday, they always have like really good deals. So I'm currently on a Black Friday deal and I pretty much do it every single Black Friday. I run over to Adobe and get an updated version, but you can start a free trial. So it is definitely more expensive. Right now it is $21 a month. So it's more expensive than Canva at the moment, but there's also a lot more to do here. It should be a more expensive program. It's a much more robust program. So I'm over here. I'm inside of the Rebel Lead Magnet Illustrator template that you purchase from us. And there's just a few things that you want to know. Again, I'm not going to show you everything there is to know about Illustrator. It's definitely not plug and play. There is a curve to learning, to understanding what all these tools do, when you need all these tools and all that stuff. But if you are looking to get into more design and you want more flexibility, then this is how you would do it. If you truly do want plug and play, you want to get into this thing, get out of it, never look at it again. <laughs> the check out our Canva video that makes this much more simple, but this is like the more robust version. So I'm going to show you today basically three things. One is adding another page. Let's say like we wanted, you know, all checklist pages or we wanted all um, the text and bullet points page or we want less pages. I'm going to show you how to do that. Then I'm going to show you how to change the colors out and the and kind of the text and everything and the images. And then lastly, just how to save it. Probably the hardest thing is just creating new pages. And so the way that Illustrator reads it usually is from left to right. These can be up and down. They can go all the way across. This is just the way that we set them up so it's easy to see. I'm holding down the space bar to move this around. This is Illustrator 2020. I'm working on the most updated version, so yours might look a little bit different. If I, let's say I want to create another bullet points page, I need to go to Document Setup, Edit Artboards, and then I need to actually select the one that I want to make a copy of. I'm going to hold down the Option key, and you'll see that the cursor changes to like these little two arrows, the filled in arrow and the open arrow. I hit the Option key first, then the Shift key to constrain it. It's not going up and down, right? So if I were to just only hit the Option key, I can drag it kind of anywhere, but see how it kind of goes, it goes all over the place. But if I hit Option, and then kind of as I start to drag, then I'm now I'm using my other finger to hold the Shift key down, it's going to bring it right across like that. So you can see that this is um, artboard three and this is artboard eight. So every time you add a new artboard, it goes onto the end, which is only going to matter because I'm doing a PDF. So I want them to be in order. So in order to do that, I go up to windows artboard. And so then it goes to artboard one and then I can drag that up to be after three and then it's going to rearrange it. So now I have one, two, three, four. So that's why it doesn't really matter like where these things are placed in space. All that matters is the order of the artboard. And so you could just add one to the end and then it would automatically be in the right order. And I'm hitting the command key and the minus symbol and then the plus to zoom in and out. And then I use space bar to kind of move over. But let's say I just don't want this page at all. I can delete it. And then let's say I want one of these. So basically when I hit document setup and I do the option and then the shift, it's going to copy the whole artboard. But if I just want to copy just what's on here, it's the exact same keystroke motions, but I'm not going to copy over like a new actual artboard. So option is going to make it do that. And then as I hit 
the shift key to keep it down and I can just drag it over into this artboard here. So let's just say I wanted two checklist pages or something like that. So then to get inside of an image, you just double click on it and you're gonna see it's inside here. So I can move the cropping if I wanted to. You basically relink it through the link palette. So you can go up here and just go relink and then it's gonna take you out to your computer where you can grab a new image, hit okay, and then it's gonna relink that image here. Another way to do it is when you're up here, you're gonna see it up here and you can relink it here. It's basically linked files. That's all you really need to know for Illustrator is that's how images work. And then also just the text, you kind of click basically where you want it to go, but you're gonna use the text tool in order to write. And then of course you can zoom in to see if, when you wanna change it. So every time you wanna change the text, you have to hit the text tool to actually change it. Click inside and then start to type. Of course, like I said, you can fine tune this here. You can change all your fonts and stuff here. But again, I'm going to keep this pretty simple and not do that. These little lines here, you can use this tool here and just kind of stretch it out as you want here. Again, I'm clicking on the anchor point and I'm hitting shift to keep it so that it like kind of locks it into place. So that's how you would change text. That's how you change images. Colors are actually pretty cool because we have these set as global colors. So basically we have all of our global colors here under our swatches. If we want to change the pink they're all set to like the same pink so we could change the color here if we want to look at it every single place I'm changing this color it changes it everywhere so that way you can switch them all out at the same time if you want to click them individually I usually like to use this direct selection tool I call it the open arrow or the closed arrow I don't even call them what they're supposed to be called I like to choose that because it allows me to fine-tune that here and so there's two different types of color fills there's the outline color which is this back box and then there's the actual color like the fill color color which is the front box. If you do want to use like a hex code you can do that by just changing this to web safe RGB. It basically switches the hex code into three sections but it's the same thing. So like if your hex code is EF 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 you would just go EF 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 right and then it's like a gray color but then if I previewed it you can see what it would do. Then the last piece is just saving it out. This is really easy you just save as a PDF. With any Illustrator file you want to make sure that you save the AI file and the PDF file because the PDF you start to lose some of the editability inside the PDF version so you always want to make sure you don't like save over top of it or you don't delete the original file. You always want to have the original file but again you can save as and then you would just switch PDF PDF, and then you can save it and then it's going to bring it up. I always say you just go for smallest file size. I have a custom one that I created. It's basically just an RGB file size, but you can just choose smallest file size or you can do PDF. This is also a pretty small format that's pretty clean and just save it and then hit OK. It's going to tell you that you're going to lose some of your editing abilities, but you're OK with that because you've already saved a separate AI file. So you're good to go. See, wasn't that amazing? You did so much better than you probably even thought. Illustrator. It's my favorite program in the world of all the programs and you just saw why so make sure that you head Straight over to our shop where you can shop all the different collections grab whichever lead magnet template you want Whether it's Canva or Illustrator and get that puppy rolling out to your people and as always if you found this helpful hit that subscribe button like it you comment below on any questions that you have and also that you share it with your friends if this was helpful if you want them to also know how to create amazing lead magnet templates inside of illustrator or in canva if you want to send them the other guy and until then i will see you on the next one bye guys